I want to just, you know, first of all, thank all of you who came out tonight. Um, it's great to see your faces. A lot of, a lot of people that you know, I get surprised who found out or who came out. Um, and, uh, yeah. So this is the first year, as Sheila was saying, of the fellowship program here, and this is the first exhibit. It's kind of like a mid fellowship exhibit. Um, so I'll probably be doing another one later on, uh, probably in January, right at the end of the year. But uh, I've worked, just to say a couple of things about the pieces, um, I've been putting a lot of work into them, trying to make some jumps from very different worlds. You know, when you think of our personal world that we try to navigate day to day, and then this large uh, global kind of situation that we're in, and I've tried to bring those together in the work, you know, for instance, back here, uh, Sheila mentioned Adelo, it's an art space in Chiapas, in, in southern Mexico, and my very good friend and artist, Caleb Duarte, he's the one that I drew. Uh, um, but I, I want to thank you all uh, for coming out, and also for so many of you that are here, I think that have supported uh, the Red Poppy Art House myself and my efforts throughout the years. I probably wouldn't be here if it wasn't for all of you and the contributions you make. Thank you. personal and intimate side in terms of, um, you know, our individual path of figuring out where do we fit in the world and how do we follow the voice inside that's trying to tell us to live a meaningful life. And sometimes that's in conflict with what we feel we should do or what we're supposed to do, or it's in conflict sometimes with what is projected onto us either by our, our families, our communities, society itself, expectations, job, whatever it is, you know, all those things don't always line up. And having this college with this mix of this writing formal papers which involve people who don't, who don't know how to read uh, and the painting, uh, I think this is really revealing. But Todd, I have to say, none of these would give a voice to communities like your, like your work does. So it's been very moving to come here and see it. Thank you. You take the average straight white male, you let him learn Spanish, you let him be able to understand other parts of the world, people look to him as being enlightened. What happens sometimes for those of us who are not that is, we were just talking about this, I, if, when I learn other languages, when I am highly educated, I am somehow less black. I'm talking about a tribe that you can't talk about, a tribe that has always existed but whose existence has yet to be proven, the tribe that has never existed but whose existence we could prove right now. Cause you're my sun in the summer Buscar. 
Si me ven, si me ven, si me ven que estoy bailando. Si me ven, si me ven que estoy cantando. 